Yeah. You were here already, sir, and mm. you saw the, this taking place. You were right next to the gentleman that passed yeah. away. What happened? Uh, we just saw him falling down because he was number 420 or 418 or so, because I'm 425. So we thought he, he fainted or so, but unfortunately, obviously, he died at the spot. Because it happened at around past four, if I'm not mistaken, because I arrived here at Kura to four or ten to four, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, just after 20 minutes after I arrived here, he just collapsed. And did, the, did they take him? What happened? Come again? What, what happened after that? No, we waited for the ambulance, obviously. Everyone waited for the ambulance. Everyone, the anxiety played its part, especially on the elders, because they're old women and men here, way, way, way above 70. So can you imagine the anxiety on them after this thing? We've been told that this is not the first, today wasn't the first day that they've been coming here, that they've been here since Tuesday. This morning they were here around 6 or 7 o'clock and then not too long ago, maybe 15-20 uh, minutes ago, uh, she did collapse and they are just trying to help her. We've heard that she is a diabetic uh, as well and we are maybe just going to analyze Tuesday <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Hey. Uh, so uh, generally we just they are trying just to get assistance from her emergency services have been called we were able to call emergency services and uh, we are hoping not just us but other people that are here as well so hoping to get some assistance uh, but this is part of the issue some of the issues that had been raised over the past few days about the heat uh, and about the effect that this would have on uh, people we had been told uh, by Uzota who has come with uh, the lady that she is diabetic uh, they have been here since this morning not just this morning as well but also the other days as well since around Tuesday those days were much warmer than today today is a, a lot cooler but uh, the past Tuesday uh, Wednesday was very warm uh, Thursday as well was warm so uh, the lady behind us saying possibly then that is this is the effect of all those warm days having to come here having to sit and then having to uh, go back generally Honey's it's chaos in Orlando East Soweto where residents are queuing for hours, literally risking their lives to update their prepaid electricity meters. This morning, a heartbreaking incident left everyone in shock as 59-year-old Joseph Figile Basugwe collapsed and passed away while waiting in line. Now, here's the real tea. Joseph left his home at 10 past 4 a.m. thinking he'd beat the crowd. But babes, when he got there, he found hundreds already in line. He was number 486. His family says he's been trying to sort this meter issue for ages, but ESCOM system kept failing him. According to his sister-in-law, Vuvu Keswa, Joseph's wife got the devastating call just 20 minutes after he left. When she rushed to the hall, she found him lying on the floor. Eyewitnesses thought he had fainted, but tragically, he had passed away. Can you imagine? People are apparently camping out from as early as 7 p.m the night before just to secure a spot in this ridiculously long queues and don't get us started on the elderly who was standing for hours in this madness this is bad if escom system was working properly we wouldn't be here fumed and frustrated residents sham the struggle is real out here meanwhile minister of electricity hosien suramakopa is not budging on the deadline which is set for november 24 2024 in his own words it's a technical issue and come monday 
the 25th if your meter isn't upgraded you are on your own he said escom has pop-up sites and teams working overtime but clearly it's not enough the drama doesn't end there to check if your meter is upgraded enter 1844-6744-0738-4377-2416 on your keypad that's 1844-6744-0738 four three seven seven two four one six on your keypad if it shows two two point two or or two t2 then you're good if it shows one or 1.2 babes you're in trouble the situation is beyond stressful and now it's literally costing lives as come fix you mess and minister ramakopa we are really just supposed to deal with this chaos let us know your thoughts in the comments fam is this deadline unfair or are people waiting till the last minute